We have a go for auto sequence start. The baton has been passed from the Launch Control Center computers, and Columbia is now in charge of its own launch countdown. T minus 20 seconds. Columbia's vent doors are being moved and configured for flight. T minus 15, coming up on a go for main engine start. 12, 11, 10, T minus 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Solid rocket ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Columbia on a voyage to the future. Roll, Colby. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston is now controlling the roll, roll maneuver underway and complete. Columbia is in a head down position on course for a 28 and a half degree flight, 160 nautical mile orbit. Columbia now beginning to throttle down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the atmosphere. Columbia is now just one nautical mile downrange from the launch site at an altitude of 17,000 feet. Accelerating now through 680 miles per hour. Engines are now beginning to throttle back up. Columbia, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All three engines are back at full throttle. Hydraulic systems and electrical systems performing well aboard, a, aboard uh, Columbia. Altitude 64,000 feet, range from the launch site 8 nautical miles. Columbia is now traveling 1,700 miles per hour. The next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. That comes at about 2 minutes and 4 seconds. SRB separation is confirmed. Altitude is 4,300 feet. Range, two nautical miles. Landing gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. And nose gear touchdown. Columbia rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base in California on the 160th orbit of the mission after traveling 4.1 million miles. Roger, Bill Coleman, who house in Columbia. Congratulations on a very successful international mission. There's a lot of folks all around the world that are very excited about the knowledge gained during your mission. Congratulations. 